released in 1979 is The Mystery of Czech's Boxing. Now this is an addition to The Swordsman of All Swordsmen. It's part of the limited edition and when that set goes, this film will be no longer available. And I feel like it needs its own kind of review because I really enjoyed this one. As formulaic and as, as typical of the time as it is, there is some great fun sequences in this one. Um, we have a young Kung Fu student at the start of this one, played by uh, Li Yin Min, who wants to just learn. He wants to become the best that he possibly can, um, whatever martial arts that he's going to undertake. And he joins a school where he becomes a general dog's body, kind of picked down and toyed with. Uh, Felton Young is a, a kind of young man in there who just constantly picking on this character. I think that you're lying. That's what. He's tasked with doing all these things and never really gets to learn any martial arts. He's just generally running after all the other students until he bumps in to an old cook who seems to have a great deal of strength and an ability for martial arts, even though he proclaims not to know many. This is played by Yun Siu Tien, who is familiar from a lot of martial arts movie and just starts to inject the film with a great deal of energy. Once our young character starts to learn uh, how to fight, it becomes really fun. Especially as he suddenly gets to stand up against all the bullies in this school and for the first half of the movie it's really quite comedic and fun it's light-hearted it's not overly serious we can get some um, uh, moments with humor and with uh, bullies getting their comeuppance learning with the old man which is kind of fun as well but in the background there is a hint that someone is going about on a vengeance mission someone is going killing people that wronged him with the five elements uh, fighting style and this is where you kind of get machinations lost within transfer because our main character has the same seal that the killer is leaving with every dead body so it kind of alludes to the fact that maybe someone in his family died at the hands of this character it's never explained it doesn't really matter all we know is that sooner or later these two are going to butt heads they're not dead i'm a killer that's why Killers don't die so easy. At some point, taking a left turn, our character is thrown out of this school and sent to work with um, an old master who loves chess and teaches him all the ways of chess boxing. That's the basic setup for this one, and it feels so familiar as in it's taking little bits from other different movies, from our character being incapable and picked on uh, to suddenly learning his martial arts and being more a diligent student than anyone else, to overcoming the bullies, to moving on to a new master and learning all different kinds of martial arts, to the ultimate big fight at the end. <laughs> And even though it is kind of familiar and it doesn't offer much in the form of newness, it's damn entertaining. It's fun. Uh, I think Lee Ye Min, who is the main actor, is really engaging. I liked him. I wanted him to succeed on his mission. I didn't care about the lapses in logic with the whole motivation as to why he wants to fight this guy at the end. He's you know, with his master, his master is in danger, he's going to step up to the plate and help that. I feel as if there's more there, but the film doesn't necessarily break that down for us. Which I don't really I don't really mind, to be honest. This film does have hard coded subtitles onto it, which can be a bit of a distraction, I suppose, if you're not into that. Personally it didn't bother me uh, with the film at all. I was just, just having a blast with the great martial arts with the comedy which I felt landed a lot of the time. It landed way more often than it didn't. I loved seeing familiar faces pop up in certain roles and going I, I remember you from this, this and this and then someone else would do that. It was just entertaining. It was just a fun movie and as a film that's just thrown into this set here as an extra as a limited edition one that's just going to miss, disappear 
it feels almost a shame. It feels as if it's something that, that you know, like you don't want to miss out on. The mystery of chase boxing is that fun. I would love to know your thoughts on this film if you've watched it. If you've got to say it, let other people know because it may just in influence them picking this one up. This is a really good set. Two decent movies in it that are entertaining. One that when it, the limited edition sells out is going to disappear which is why I've given it its own review because I think you really need to check this one out. And as I said, I would say pick up two movies for the price of one, both pretty decent films, and I would love to know your thoughts. So drop it in the comments, like I said. As always, there's more content up here. You can see more of my stuff in the description box below our links to Patreon, membership program, and manbfilm.com. Always, it makes you could support. Thanks for watching, and see you next time.